In this video, we're going to talk about semiconductor diodes. That is this little thing over here. Now, a diode actually works on a very simple basis. Okay, basically, it only allows the current to flow in one direction, simply put. And so you see this little arrowy thing over here. So if the current in a circuit like this flows in a direction that points in the same direction as this arrowy thing, we call this the forward bias mode. And in this situation, an ideal diode will act like a short circuit. In other words, the resistance of the diode will be approximately 0 ohms. Now, in the situation where your circuit maybe is the other way around, and your current now tries to flow this way, you see now what's going to happen now is going to go against this arrowy thing. In, which situ in, in such a situation, we call this the reverse bias. And over here, your diode will act like an open circuit. And in other words, the resistance of the diode will be approximately infinite ohms. And so there will not even be a current in this situation. So there you go. Diodes simply allow the current to flow only in one direction. So how does the IV graph of this look like? Well, it looks like something like this. And so typically by convention, we allow the positive voltage to be the forward bias and we allow the negative voltage to be the reverse bias. And so what you're going to notice is that in the forward bias, okay, very, very quickly, you'll see that this line comes up like this in very steep. And so like what we saw in the previous video, if we look at the line from the origin to this curve like this, okay, this becomes, this line rapidly becomes very steep. And so the inverse gradient of this line, of course, is the resistance. And so you see the resistance drops to zero very, very rapidly, or at least drops close to zero. There is typically a minimum voltage over here where the diode begins to behave like a short circuit. And this can vary from diode to diode, but typically this value over here is around 0 0.6 volts to 0 0.8 volts. Moving on to the reverse bias, you'll see that even though I apply a very large negative voltage, my current still stays at zero, which of course implies that the resistance is almost infinite. However, that is going to be one point. If you exceed a certain value of a negative voltage, we will observe a breakdown in the diode over here. 